All right, so it's time for another Amazon unboxing. And what did I get this time? I got an indoor hydroponics growing system. And I uh, actually, I'm really getting into uh, growing plants. And uh, I wanted to do something indoors. So if, um, you know, I don't have an, enough room to grow in my yard, I can grow some herbs and veggies and flowers inside. So this is a, a brand by the name of Wep, uh, I'm sorry, Wet Pia, Wet Pia. And uh, let's see uh, what this looks like. So I just wanted to show you the model that I'm going to be opening up for you. And this is actually made by Wet Pia. And uh, this is really beautiful. It comes in black, but you can also get it in white as well. I wanted it in black. And this one in black retails for $148.02. And I just wanted to just go over one little thing with you guys because a lot of people it's you know you're very interested in knowing how tall these can get so you know what size plants you can grow i recommend getting dwarf seeded plants so if you're going to grow tomatoes try to find the dwarf variety of tomatoes uh try not to get the ones that grow 10 to 12 feet okay um you can actually trim them if that happens but go with dwarf varieties of flowers um and vegetables and herbs things that don't get too tall uh this is the height it goes up to 23 inches now i will tell you um starting here where my arrow is um all the way up to here is 19.4 inches so that might be something that might confuse you guys because in the description it says 19.4 inches so from the bottom okay where my arrow is um to the top of the grow light it gets to 23 inches and so the plant um, actually, its roots will go below here. So make sure that your uh, plant actually doesn't get taller from this part uh, past 19.4 inches. But uh, from the root all the way to the top of the plant, it can get um, up to 23 inches and then that's it. You're not going to go past this unless you trim the plant and cut it down. You know, um, if you just started out with hydroponics, um, there are a lot of different models out there. This one has 12 pods, which is really nice. Some of them only come with four pods. So that means like a growing spot. So this one has 12 growing spots. It has a two mode LED system and a 24 hour water pump system. Now a water pump is very, very, very important um, when you have hydroponics. If you don't have a pump with the water moving or flowing throughout the system, uh, it'll grow mold and it'll grow algae and uh, it's not a good thing. Now weighing only 4.1 pounds, um, this is actually uh, great for a countertop. And it says, hello, enjoy your indoor garden uh, system. And that's really great. Okay, so you get a growing guide and setup guide. Very cool. And I'm glad I got the black one. Um, they have a white one and a black one, but I, I like the sleek look of the black colored ones. Um, you know, it's your preference, but the black ones, um, you know, it'll show like less dirt and stuff. Like, you know, sometimes these things get a little crusty and uh, it's actually nice. Okay, so there we go. So it comes with instructions. Um, it comes with, uh, you know, everything you need to just start and go. It even comes with the plant food and the pods and the baskets and uh, a plug adapter. So it's like an AC adapter. There we go. Setup guide. This can't be too hard. Um, I've set up a couple of these before. And here we go. All right, so let's take it out of the box and look at the product. Okay, so this um, has a 3.5 liter tank, which is quite nice. And it can be extended, the grow lights uh, can be extended to 19.4 inches high. So let's take the top off. Now we have uh, several different buttons. The power button, um, you could choose uh, the grow lights to uh, grow vegetables, flowers, and then you have a button for the pump. So you can keep the pump on 24 hours a day if you want. Some systems have um, an automated, like automatically, um, automated like timer system set into there and you can't keep the pump running 24 hours a day. I like the fact that you can keep this pump running 24 hours a day. So here's what the LED light panel looks like on the inside. Um, let's check out the contents of the box. Here we go. Okay, so this is what it comes like, just like this. And you're going to lift the uh, little tray up. And there we go. And let's see what you get with this. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this, um, this is actually a water level. 
and that's actually very good. This is going to tell you if you have enough water in here because they evaporate. With these grow systems, uh, you always have to keep be mindful of the water level because over days or sometimes a week or two, the water level drops, especially as plants are growing. And if you don't have enough water in here, your plants are going to not grow, not flourish, possibly die, and you will burn the pump out. If there's not enough water in there, the pump will burn out. Okay, so it comes immediately with what you need. You need plant food. And uh, so it has a little measuring cup. And uh, so you have to figure, this is three and a half uh, liters. And okay, for three liters, you have to put 15 ml of fluid in here. So another half would be 2.5 ml. So you're going to need, um, let's see, 15, 17 um, and a half mls of liquid in this cap. And you're going to have to mix it separately in these two bottles, you know, fill it up with the, and don't use tap water, use a, like filtered water or bottled water and then shake it up and you have A and B and you can't drop in both of them together into the water. You have to put, you know, one cap full in, into the water and uh, I believe mix it and then drop that in separately in the water and mix it. And uh, you'll have a measuring cup for that. Not included with this is measuring uh, jugs and uh, I suggest if you want to get started in hydroponics get yourself watering jugs so how would you know how much to fill this up well you need three and a half liters what's three and a half liters well here you go it says on here <laughs> and this is great about these watering jugs um, it says in here three and you can go up to three and a half right here and uh, know exactly how much water that you're filling this with so you don't make any mistakes and you uh, mix the right amount of plant food. Okay, so you have your seed pods, which is great. They give you 12 and you can buy replacement seed pods for very cheap on Amazon. And uh, you know, cause sometimes they don't always germinate. Here's another thing. If you're just getting started, not all the time will each pod germinate. So you can drop seeds in a pod or two or three or maybe even more. And sometimes they just don't take. It's not the hydroponics uh, fault for that. It's just life. And so always get some extras. Um, again, you can get like a pack of 24 sometimes for like anyways between 12 to 15 to $20. You can get a pack of 50 for about $13.99. You know, you can find deals on Amazon. All right, next. We got the baskets, 12 of them, and they're reusable, and domes. So you're going to need, uh, after you uh, plant your seed into the pod, put a dome on it. And then when everything, you know, grows um, and starts emerging from the pods, then you just take the little dome off. And uh, that's what's really cool. All right, so we got the extendable pole here that goes into here. And we have our AC adapter, basic uh, pu uh, plug and play. And we have, oh, this is cool. So we have a, a, a pump over here and a filter. And so you got to put that together. And that's like probably no big deal. Um, and it'll show in the instructions. And I'm going to put it together. I'm not going to show you how to put, to put it together because it's so uh, easy. Anyone can do it by following the directions. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like at the end. Since I'm not going to tell you how to put together, um, you know, put it together, we're going to watch a quick uh, two-minute video. You ready?
So as you can see, it gets really, really high. So you can grow uh, tall flowers, herbs, and plants. Okay, um, I'm going to actually show you. Here's everything all set up. And uh, you can see the humidity forming on the dome. Here's it without the uh, dome on it. You can see the seeds actually inside that little hole. Let's zoom in on that. There you go. There's some uh, seeds in there. I'm trying to really get you. Yeah. Okay, you want to keep the domes on until the uh, plants start sprouting. Once the plants sprout, you can take them off. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. And uh, when you uh, plug it in, it'll, it'll make a, a sound, like a beep sound. Um, and you know that it's going through a cycle and that it's uh, ready to work. So you just press the power button to turn it on. Now you've got your lights. Look at this. This is uh, absolutely adorably cool. Um, this is a great unit, very high quality. All right, and then you want to choose um, vegetable or flower. Um, I'm going to have it on veggie, even though I have lettuce and flowers growing in here. And the pump. So when the button's on, I believe it stays on 24 hours. When you press it, it's going to blink on and off, on and off. And I think that it puts it in a cycle of 12 hours um, off. And then after 12 hours, it goes on every 30 minutes and shuts off and uh, goes back on. And that's in a cycle of 30 minute alternate um, cycles. Okay, I'm going to press it again. And I believe that leaves it on 24 hours a day. All right, so now... This is actually way too high because you just started your seeds. So you're just going to push this down. And by accident, I, I hit the button with my hands as I'm pushing it down. We could fix that. No problem. All right. So I'm going to hit the power button. Okay. It's on vegetable and the pump is on. So uh, let's see what it looks like. There you go. That's at the lowest um, height. And let's check out these lights. Look at that. That's a really, really nice light panel. Very high quality. I tell you to buy this. This is a definite. This is uh, one of the nicest units I've seen out there at the price range. And uh, you're not going to be sorry. This will change your life. You have your water gauge. Always make sure the yellow is at the red line so it's filled to the max. Um, check every uh, every day because the water does evaporate. Um, evaporate. And uh, you should start getting uh, sprouts within like uh, two to three days. And then uh, within 20 to 30 days, you, you have full harvest. Um, between 14 and 22 days, um, your plant will be growing. And you'll raise this uh, grow light as they grow taller. Thanks for watching. And there will be a link in the description below to buy this. The Wet Pea is a very, very good product.